Good morning. This is Saturday, March 12th, and today's devotion is Total Surrender. This is Mark 10. Peter began to say to him, See, we have left all to follow you. Our Lord replies to the statement of Peter by saying that this surrender is for my sake and the gospel's sake. It was not for the purpose of what the disciples themselves would get out of it. Beware of surrender that is motivated by personal benefits that may result. In other words, don't look to surrender just to gain for self. For example, I'm going to give myself to God because I want to be delivered from sin, because I want to be made holy. No, don't say that. You give because you love. Those things happen because of that. Being delivered from sin and being made holy are the result of being right with God. But surrender, result, surrender resulting from this kind of thinking is certainly not the true nature of Christianity. Our motive for surrender should not be for any personal gain at all. We have become so self-centered that we go to God only for something from Him, and not for God Himself. It's like saying, no Lord, I don't want you, I want myself. But I do want you to clean me up and fill me with your Holy Spirit. I want to be on display in your showcase, so that I can say, see what God has done for me? Gaining heaven, being delivered from sin, and being made useful... Pardon me. To God are things that should never be be a consideration in real surrender. Genuine total surrender is a personal sovereign preference for Jesus Christ Himself. Isn't that beautiful? Where does Jesus figure? Excuse me. Where does Jesus figure in when we have a concern about our natural relationships? Most of us will desert Him with with this excuse. Yes, Lord, I heard you call, but my family needs me, but my job needs me, but I have interest in hobbies. I have my own interest. I can't just go any further. That's Luke 9, actually, 957. Then Jesus says, then you cannot be my disciple. True surrender will always go beyond natural devotion. If we only give up, excuse me, if we will only give up, God will surrender himself to embrace all those around us and he will meet their needs, not us. Beware of stopping anywhere short of total surrender to God. Most of us have only a vision of what this really means, but we never really truly experience it. The challenge I have for us today is, is do we, if he calls us, do we, ha do we have excuses lined up? Yes, Lord, I heard you ask me to go and do that, but my family needs me, my job needs me, my own interests need me. That's the challenge. If God has called us, are we putting our own needs in front of his? Let's pray. Father, I, I pray you continue to call all of us today, be it into the full-time full ministry or to be a Sunday school teacher or to clean the church, whatever. And as we hear your call, we wouldn't allow ourselves to put our things in front of that call. We would say yes, because Lord, I know the benefits of saying yes to you and surrender is so much greater than those puny things that we would stack up out of self. So, Lord, let us say yes to you today. If you're calling to us, let's say yes and go where you send us and do as you ask us. And we pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow. Nope, I'll see you at church. Spring ahead. Spring ahead, yes, thank you. My wife just reminded me. Spring ahead. Don't you love that when you lose an hour? Spring ahead, so don't be late for church. Love you guys.